question of what makes life worth living is a good way to raise funds for those for whom life has not been so good. It's all about making a difference by caring for others. Stacey and Jared, what's tonight in aid of? So it's the Second Chance Trust charity and essentially it's addressing substance abuse and all sorts of everything um, that goes with high levels of substance abuse in South Africa. What work do you do? We work with people from all walks of life, all social dynamics, and we want the opportunity to walk a road with them through our different programs where they can find healing, they can find strength, we can equip them to become the person they're meant to become. Cluck CGDT did the fashion. Why did you guys decide to get involved in this event tonight? Charity is always a very big thing for us. Um, we always like to give back and, and you know it's all very well looking beautiful, but if you don't do something that's for other people as well, there's no point. What have you created for tonight? This is the first time that this collection is launched to the public, so it's quite new and fresh for us as well and exciting to see what the response will be like. But what we created was a lot of colour, print, texture, a combination of all sorts of fabrics, linen, satin, there's even a bit of uh, a sort of basket weave, hessian in between, and it's all to do with a little bit of a tribal, mixed with retro, but the most important thing is, is that each garment individually is a look in itself and is special. Carol, what's your involvement tonight and what are you hoping to achieve through the proceedings? So, for me, what's been exciting about Second Chance is that I live in a province where I've always felt that all of us should be doing more. And um, I felt that I wanted to support, I felt that I wanted to give my time and, and ensure that there is um, a level of success that is, is measurable. Among the items on auction were works by an unusual artist. Joanne, tell us a little bit about Picasso. Picasso, yes. Well, she's the world's only painting pig and she sells paintings around the world and it all goes to a great cause, which is Farm Safety South Africa. How did you discover that she's so talented? Well, I rescued Picasso from a local factory farm, hog farm. It was interesting. Pigs are very curious, intelligent animals. And so I put a couple of things in her pen to keep her entertained. And for some reason, she took a real interest and knack for the paintbrush. I don't know if it was the bristles or what it was, but I thought, gosh, and it wasn't long before she was taking these brushes and creating these amazing masterpieces. Donating his time and humour as MC was Nick Rabinovitz. Nick, the issues that the children of this country are facing is no laughing matter. What is important for you to highlight tonight as the MC? I think it's important to highlight that they have misspelt the name of the event. Uh, they spelt it Ihashi. I thought it was some kind of Japanese themed summer drought ball here in Cape Town, but it's in fact Iashe. 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 No? Iashe. There's an E on the end of it. That's if you are close, I think, but in Zulu it's Iashe. Yeah, we are close here, all of us tonight. Alongside the artworks, a necklace of 34 brilliant cut diamonds was donated by Stephanie Harley. The Cartier necklace that you're wearing is one of the most coveted items of the auction. What inspired the donation? So. <laughs> oh, well, this necklace, I love, my husband gave it to me, but I thought, well, my life won't alter at all if I give it away. But what this necklace could represent to the kids of Second Chance could be really something very special. So I hope it does well tonight. Do you feel that events like this make a difference? This particular event is run by people who know what they're doing. Carol Bauer and all her team are actually veterans in the industry of doing something for a change. This event is going to change lives and that's exactly why we're here. I think it was a wonderfully inspiring event. I mean, the fact that um, so many people opened up their wallets and were willing to support this um, in such a beautiful um, venue and an idyllic night, I think it was very inspiring. Just this one night of fundraising will offer a turning point and second chances in the year ahead.